Hello nerds, today is Thursday, March 28th, 2019, and that means it's time for the 87th game of the Meditation Games. Today's game was made by Caelan Doyle Myerskoff and William Wu. They have quite a long blurb for us, so I'll read it out for you now. You've been on this bus for four hours, and only now do you realise how nervous you are. Was this a bad idea? Was this a mistake? What if things go wrong? Briefly, for a split second or half an hour, it's hard to tell. You entertain the idea of shouting until the bus stops, getting out, and running home. <laughs> you could be safe and warm at home right now, but you're here, and home is getting farther away by the second. Why again did you decide to do this? Why now? It doesn't matter anymore. For whatever reason, you've locked into your choice. All you can do now is sit in suspended animation for another four hours and wait for the consequences of your decision. Behind the fog of the window, the world passes by in a blur. Without thinking, you press a finger against the glass. You lift your hand and watch the circle disappear into the fog. You've always liked drawing pictures on window panes. Best in a quiet place with headphones. Okie dokie. I'm curious what it was that they were going towards. Like, I assume this is a story about an experience that Caden had. But, eh, let's have a look. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's actually... Weirdly, I really like how the little effect works. That looks really convincing. <laughs> that's a really good job. Well done on that. That looks fantastic. All right, let's... Uh, do a little, 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 way. It refogs quicker than I can remove it all. So let's, let's doodle. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 way. Happy face. And a heart, because love. That's a bad heart. Heart. There we go. Because love. And, um, I don't know. Uh, hi. <laughs> so what's actually going on? Is this changing much? I haven't been paying attention to anything going on in the background. So this is the window for a bus. I would have assumed train, in all honesty, but I don't suppose it matters. I've no idea where it is, though. That does actually just seem to be on loop. Uh, that's fair. That's no problem. Okie dokie. Uh, oh, is, oh, no, it's just refogging. I thought that was ending for a second. Uh, uh, just realised my volume's too low. Ah. Oh, that's really cool. So she's humming as she's rightly on the window. That's really cool. I like that. Yeah, that would have been a lot better with headphones. Uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> so I wonder if this game actually ends. After having spent the last ten minutes just doodling willies and stuff, I can safely conclude I don't think this game ends. <laughs> so I shall end it. I do wish I actually played that with headphones. That was a really calm, very pretty experience. I really, really liked how the graphics looked. Like, I, I loved how outside looked. It was really simple, but very characterful, very plain, but very charming. It looked really good. But that sort of condensation effect on the, on the window, the doodling on the fogged up mirror, that looked really good. That was actually very impressive. I don't know how easy that was, but I'm impressed. I thought it looked awesome. And it seems like a weird little touch, but that humming as you pressed on the window that was really nice actually so that was all in all very that was a very chilling and nice experience actually so thank you for that so the creators of today's game both have some really cool stuff to their name william Wu, i can't seem to interact with much of what he's done it's basically just looking at all the cool shit he's made and he's made a lot of very bizarre very well, i wouldn't say bizarre exactly bizarre to me because i don't know anything about them but like, he's made the physical MIDI controller, he's got uh, a poetry generator or something. Uh, he's got a lot of really interesting looking and very strange things that I'm completely alien to. However, Kalen is a game maker, and I know game makings, 
so that I was much more at home with. <laughs> but she's made what looks like a card game, and I can't quite tell if it's a pen and paper game or another card game. I, I haven't looked into it too much. But she's also done a couple of uh, sprite-based video games, and her sprite work is absolutely fantastic, or her pixel art, or whatever you want to call it. Looks amazing. Uh, really, really damn cool. I had a noodle around on Death and the Maiden. It's a really simple, straightforward game. Uh, you move Death's arms to block incoming nasties that try and kill the Maiden in the middle. Uh, I believe it's just a high score game. I didn't get far enough to see if the game ended, but I assume it's a high score game. If you fancy you got a bash on it, I'll leave a link to it below. I think I did all right. I got a score of 112, so feel free to beat that if you want to give that a go. W and S to move. Uh, the left arm up and down, and it's I and K to move the right arm up and down. It took me a while to find that. So, <laughs> so as always, I'll leave links below to, to Twitters, to portfolios, and also to that game that I was playing. Remember, 112, that's the score I got, so beat that. It's probably pretty easy to beat, but yeah. So, a huge thank you to Kanglin and to William for making today's game, and thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.